Police are investigating a school shooting that was committed by a female sixth grade student on Thursday. And this tops our news making national headlines this morning. The incident happened at Rigby Middle School in Idaho on Thursday. Police say the girl walked into the school and pulled a pistol out of her backpack and fired multiple times. Two students and a school employee were shot and a teacher was able to disarm the student and detain her until police arrived. All three victims were taken to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. One was released and two remain in stable condition. A soldier in training at South Carolina's Fort Jackson is facing multiple charges after hijacking a school bus at gunpoint Thursday morning. The suspect has been identified as 23-year-old Jovan Colazzo of New Jersey. The video released by the Richland County Sheriff's Department shows the tense situation Thursday morning as the trainee stands in the bus while pointing a rifle at the driver. Later, the suspect takes the wheel, drives to an area where he had the 18 elementary kids and driver get off the bus. He then drives a short distance before abandoning the bus and fleeing on foot. Fort Jackson officials say the trainee's rifle was not loaded. Colazzo, who has been at Fort Jackson for three weeks, is charged with 19 counts of kidnapping, carjacking, possession of a, uh, possessing a weapon on school property, armed robbery, and weapons possession during a violent crime. If you're fully vaccinated against COVID, you may not be done just yet. Moderna's president says booster shots will likely be needed every 9 to 12 months. Dr. Stephen Hogue revealed about half the participants in the company's booster study no longer have detectable immunity against the newest COVID var variants. They do seem to have retained immunity against the original coronavirus strain. Moderna has said a booster vaccine can protect people against the so-called South Africa and Brazil variants. The company says the virus is likely to continue on several evolutionary paths and it will continue developing vaccines for them.